Okay, coaches and cafes, espresso sessions, Malcolm Lowry with Chris Dispenson, and today's question is, why do we need to stop saying comfort zone and outside of the box? <laughs> and, the, and you know I'm really passionate about this because this uh, term's been around for several decades. I can see the energy, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah really but this uh, term's been around for several decades, and I want to know if you think there's still helpful things to say. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but I, I mean that if if it makes sense for the person that I'm coaching, mm -hmm. for instance, you know, it's okay with me. I don't have yeah. any problem with that. Yeah. I mean, what would you say instead, Malcolm? This is my question to you. Well, the, the reason I don't like comfort zone is that number one, when you say get out of your comfort mm -hmm. zone, where is it? Where's mm -hmm. the edges of this comfort no, zone that we're talking question. about? Yeah. Yeah. Right? yeah. And okay. the reality is, there's only two places we can stand. Mm. We can be in the known or the mm. unknown. Yeah, that's true. And if we're in the known, mm. then our primitive brain isn't going to be triggered. As soon as we step into the unknown, whatever it is, going to a party where we don't know, know people or starting a new job or career change, mm. that's the unknown. That's and true. that will trigger the primitive brain and trigger you to be fearful and resistant. Yeah. That's just natural psychology. Yeah. So from my perspective as a coach, mm. I just think the, the idea of the saying, get out of your comfort zone, doesn't give people any borders to recognize. No, Where is the no, borders of no. this? But if I say, we're gonna move you from the known into the unknown, mm -hmm. and when you take that step, you will feel some fear, but mm. we're gonna have strategies to help you manage that. Mm. Because the more strategies we have, the less fear that you'll have. Yeah, yeah. So for me, this whole idea of comfort zone um, has a lot of problems built into it. Well, mm -hmm. I'll give you another example. Mm -hmm. And I know I'm talking a lot, but yeah, now you're another talking example. Yeah. Give me, please. Another example is that you, I could say to you, Krista, get out of your comfort zone mm -hmm. and leave your job. You might hate that job. You mm -hmm. might be completely uncomfortable in that job, yeah. but it's less scary than the unknown. Mm -hmm. That's so, true. you know, it, there's plenty of people doing the same things mm. that we call the comfort mm. zone and they're in a massive discomfort. So that well, doesn't well, make I'm, any sense. I, no, I agree with you in, in certain ways here because what I read the other day um, is that it seems like the cells in our body, if they like being in the, what you call in the comfort zone, yeah. that everything is like it should be. Mm -hmm. But if you want to develop, you should push your set this a little mm -hmm. bit more, and then the cells adapt so yeah. that yeah. the future will become the comfort zone. Mm -hmm. I'm still going to use that word. Yeah. It's, you know, so uh, basically, I mean, we shouldn't go out of the comfort zone. We should move the comfort zone to another place. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you just hate the word. I, can I just see hate that. the languaging but of it because I, I, what I have found as a coach is it's very unhelpful. Yeah, but say, say mm. another word. I mean, let's, please give me another well, word. Well, that's why, that's why I work very specifically with the known and the unknown. Yeah, but I, yeah. I agree with that. Yeah. I agree with that. Totally. Yeah. That's yeah. really cool, man. But yeah. can you please give me a, a word? Because comfort zone is a, it's a practical word. It's because practical, it's a, yeah. It's a, it's a, mm -hmm. it's a word. Well, it's, it's a phrase. A place. Yeah. It's a phrase that's become part of the vernacular yeah. of common life, and we use it in a certain way. But for me, uh, the, the words that I'm using are very specific mm. for a very specific reason. Mm. And the reason I'm using known and unknown mm. as a coach mm. is because these are two areas that we can define really mm. simply. Mm. Anything that you haven't done mm. is the unknown. Mm. Anything that's new yeah. is the unknown. Yeah, is the and there's a really I sharp borderline between the two. I never use, in coaching sessions, mm. I, I never, I can't remember the, the time yeah. I used that word, mm -hmm. comfort zone. Yeah. I always talk about how you want to be in the future. Yeah. And the future mm. has to be the now for you to bring you to the future, mm -hmm. right? So I agree with that, your way of talking. Yeah. But I don't see the bad in, in using. I mean, yeah. if people are com Well, I mean, le leaders right, are saying this you know? to their teams all the time. Yeah, but and, and isn't uh, that because they don't really know what a comfort zone is? Yeah, so well, that that's, they don't that's have, exactly the you know, reason why they so, shouldn't be saying it. You yeah, know, they can so be saying... people get out and educate yourself and <laughs> but, use you know, other words. When leaders are telling their teams, hey, get out of your comfort zone, mm -hmm. you know, half the team might already be out of their comfort yeah, zone. they don't know. And they're like, what the hell are you saying? I'm already, I'm already uncomfortable. Yeah. Um, but the other thing is, is, you know, this whole um, idea about, you know, when, when leaders and people say, 
you can get outside of the box. Yeah. It drives me nuts. There's no box. <laughs> there's no box. <laughs> there's no box. There's no box. No, there's no box. There's no box no, to get no out box. of. No, no. But, but, but for you, what, when you hear that expression, what, what does that bring up for you? I don't know. It, it, it brings, I mean, it's boring. I, I agree mm, with that, yeah. you know, and it's, it's not words that I really like, mm -hmm. you know, but, and again, I think that people that are using these words mm -hmm. a lot, mm -hmm. they really don't know what you're talking about. I exactly. Mean, you know, so if you don't know what you're question, talking about, don't say it. No, like the first question should be, of course, are you comfortable? Yeah. Yeah. Because but, if you, I mean, you know, you, I can't tell you go out of your comfort zone. Or you, I yeah. don't know if, if you are in your comfort zone. Exactly. Exactly. This is why we should stop saying it. So leaders are telling their teams to get out of their comfort zone. You don't know if they're in their comfort zone. Stop saying it. I think that leaders should ask questions more than telling people, yeah. actually, basically. Yeah. You know, so. And when it comes to, you know, when a leader says, you know, think outside the box, I think, why don't you tell your people, let's ask some better quality questions. Yeah. That would be a much more generative question yeah. or thing to say to your team. Yeah. Well, our time's up. Our time's up, man. Thanks. Thanks.